a, b, and c are integers such that a plus b, c equal to a, b, c, and a, b, c are greater than negative 10, less than 10, find the value of a, b, and c. So in this problem, we want to find a, b, and c, and we know there are integers, and our only assumption here that we can is useful is use a plus b c equal to a b c so one way when we have integers is to factorizing so let's take all things to right hand side zero equal to a b c minus b c minus a equal to zero now i factor from b c it will be a minus one and because i have a minus one here i do this negative a I add 1 and I subtract 1. Because it is 0, it has no effect. So, now I try to factorize more. It will be BC times A minus 1 minus A minus 1 minus 1 equal to 0. Now, I factor from A minus 1. It will be BC minus 1. And I take this negative 1 to the left hand side. It will be plus 1. So here, I have two parts. The product is 1. I consider both of them. Positive 1. Positive 1 because they are integers. Negative 1, negative 1. So I should consider two cases. Case 1 is this. Case 2 is this. Case 1, a minus 1 is 1. And also here, bc minus 1 is 1 bc minus 1 is 1. So from here, a equal to 2. From this part, bc equal to 2. Now, we can see that if we see our equation a plus bc equal to abc, let's check this. It says bc is 2, bc is 2, and a is 2. a is also here 2, 2 times 2, 4, and it's okay. So, here, the problem says A, B, C are between negative 10 and less than 10. Here, we have A, we have B, C. A is 2. B, C is 2. So, we can say 1, 2, negative 1, negative 2, 2, 1, negative 2, negative 1. In all of them, A equal to 2. So, we can say we have 4 answers and let's consider here we have four answers i've written all of them let's consider case two case two is what here a minus one negative one bc minus one negative one a minus one equal to negative one bc minus one equal to negative one so a equal to zero bc equal to zero and our equation a plus bc equal to abc this part is 0, it is 0, a 0, 0. So we will see it satisfies. Now, we can say, again, we know a, b, c are between negative 10 and less than 10. So if I want to write, I can say, okay, a, b, c. We know a is 0. Now, b, c is 0. So b is 0 or c is 0. So if only b is 0, so we can say c can be from negative 9, negative 1, plus 1, b only 0, to 9. b is only, b, b is 0, c is not 0, b is 0, c is not 0. Now, here, how many answers do we have? 9 plus 9, 18. For the case b is 0, but c is not 0. Similarly, if b is not 0 and c is 0, again, we have 18 answers. And the case at b is 0, c is 0, we have one answer. 36 plus 1, 37 here. In previous case, we had four answers. So 4 plus 37, we have 41 answers. And finding the rest here, you can say 0. Negative 9 to negative 1 plus 1 to 9 for this case. And C is 0, and the last case, 0, 0, 0. So 
18 answers here, 18 answers here, one answer here, that is 37, and four from previous ones, so 41 and sirs. Okay, please don't forget to subscribe, turn on notification, and like the video if you want to learn other ideas and important ways for solving geometric combinatorics, number three, and algebraic problems in any Olympiad exam from basic level up to IMO. Feel free to send message to my WhatsApp number in the description and comments. You can use my other videos to improve for your problem solving. Uh, let me write one homework for you. The homework is this. A minus B plus C equal to A, B, C. Try to write solve this homework and comment your answers below this video. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.